welcome to JWL Sports, where we review all the best sports clips from around the country. Now, if this is your first time, please do not forget to subscribe. We are building an amazing community here, and it's going so well, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I read every single comment. So if you think what I'm saying is ridiculous, let me know below. If you think what I'm saying is the most amazing thing ever, also, please let me know. I would love to get into some fights, get into some discussions, but ultimately have some fun. So without further ado, let's get to it. We're with first things first uh, with Nick Wright talking about the Chiefs um, kicking the Bengals out of the playoffs. Now, let me just say off at the top, first of all, I haven't watched this clip at all yet. Um, that win was nothing. Truly, truly nothing. In fact, it did tell us something and it told us that the Chiefs are not a good football team. Their offense did nothing against the Bengals. Nothing against the Bengals. And the Bengals have one of the worst defenses out there. Okay? And again, the Chiefs were at home. They're trying to bounce back. It's New Year's. It's another party. Let's go. And they did not play well. And in fact, the Bengals could have won that game. But the Bengals had a backup quarterback. And even with the backup quarterback, they still had a chance to win that game. That game was more about the Bengals losing than the Chiefs winning. We have to get it out of our heads. The Chiefs are not a good team. Yes, they have Patrick Mahomes. Yes, they have Andy Reid. Yes, they have Travis Kelsey. That is not enough this year. They're not a good team. The only reason why we think that they're a good team or that they even have a chance at winning the Super Bowl or making true noise is because it is Patrick Mahomes and it is Andy Reid. And I get it. I do. It's They deserve that from us. They've earned that from us. But the reality is so clear. They are not a good team. And they are getting so lucky by the way how the how the NFL has just shaped up this year. Because if they were actually in a legitimate division with legitimate contenders, the Chargers could be leading that division. Uh, the Broncos could be leading that division. I mean, the, the the Chiefs are a genuine wild card team. They are. Think about how they got to face the Bengals here. If the Bengals had Joe Burrow, they would have won the Bengals would have won that game, without a doubt without a doubt and then they would be fighting for the last game of the season to even just win the division against a terrible broncos team so they're just getting so they just got so lucky and guess what your luck runs out in the playoffs typically typically so their chances of really having a legit shot at winning the super bowl this year there's just no way it's just not happening i'm saying it right now i am planting the flag they absolutely will not win the Super Bowl. Do they technically have a chance? Of course, everyone has a chance, but they will not win the Super Bowl. So I can't wait to see, you know, Nick try to spin this as like, this is great. We won for the eighth straight year. We've clinched the AFC West, blah, 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 blah. Nonsense. In quarter, Harrison Butker <laughs> nails a 54 yarder and a 40 yarder bro. Then in the third, drives home a 27 yard <laughs> dart. Let's head into the fourth, bro. Game is still close. Boom. 24-yard laser. Where We're, are not the homes, huh? We're not done. We're not done. 48-yarder. And then finally to put it away. A 46-yard bomb. All those Got field it. goals. <laughs> what an offense. 19 points for Harrison. <laughs> Butker. Pacheco also had 130 on the ground. Nick, you must be thrilled with this W. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm obvious, interested to hear Obviously. This. It's a good win. They, the, I mean, they're playing a desperate, prideful team that what, playoff life was on the line. I know. Get the heck out and of here. And the Chiefs did exactly what they needed to do, given who they are this year. The Nick Wright, you are such a joke. You are such a joke. Like, I love this show, but you are such a joke when it comes to the Chiefs that it's genuinely frustrating he can't ever be honest about the situation if you watch that game the Chiefs did not do a good job they did not play well it's the, it's that's the reality if the Bengals had a competent offense with their backup quarterback or just played better they would have won that game handedly they would have won that game handedly so enough with this nonsense Listen, this idea that 
great defense, don't make mistakes, which has been their bugaboo. True. Take the points, can't win you a Super Bowl. It's won 30 of them. That's and what then I said. you add to it that they, the, the Chiefs' path must be lean on the defense, cut out the mind numbing mistakes, which and they trust, didn't. They, which they didn't, and they drive, were able right. to come through it. And, mm -hmm. and Mahomes fumbled. They lost the yep. turnover battle. Yep. Uh, and the, trust that Mahomes, three times a game, can make a special play. Yep. You can get and to the Super Bowl that man, way. Pacheco. And everybody thinks in the Super Bowl they're going to be playing the Niners. Sign me up. You can get to a Super Bowl that way. They had to win this game. They now get a bye. They don't. They don't. They don't deserve I a bye. Like this but bye they better. get a bye. Yeah. They, they they get it with the re and they're locked into the three seed no matter mm. what. They can't get to the two. They can't drop to the four. And you also saw to me like the Chiefs this year. I, Wilds' big thing is man, if you score 21, you beat them. The flip side is the Chiefs are undefeated when they score 21. Mm -hmm. They are also undefeated when they don't lose the turnover battle or give up a defensive score. So it's very simple. It's not going to be flashy. And it's at this point, I've given up the ghost that they're going to drop 40 on a good team. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they have to. And I think the Bengals, when Browning doesn't turn the ball over, the Bengals have been good since he took over. Like, just flatly, they they've been good. They uh, beat Jacksonville and Indy, two yep. teams that are in the playoffs. Yep. And then, uh, was it Minnesota? They got rolled in the game. He played very poorly yeah. the, uh, against uh, whoever it was a week ago. But, and they beat Steelers. Minnesota. Yeah. Steelers. Look, the Steelers. Obviously, the Chiefs aren't terrific, at least offensively this year. And I didn't expect this type of battle. You know, I, it got to a point where I thought Cincinnati was going to win. But they're uh, down 10. I, I did Because I don't, I don't believe the Chiefs are automatically going to come back like I used to no. in the past. But I, I'm with Nick. I, I think they showed the heart of a champion. Oh, I my God. They, look, I get it. Cause am I in Bizarro World right now? Please, please, please tell me. Am I in Bizarro World right now? What? The heart of a champion? Oh, my God. Guys. What are we talking about here? If you watch this game, okay, this is what happened. The Chiefs' offense was not good. Did Patrick Mahomes obviously make some amazing plays? Yes, he's Patrick Mahomes. The Bengals have a terrible defense. Bottom of the barrel defense. Awful defense. Let me say it again awful defense and the chiefs could barely do anything okay now the Bengals' offense is only okay t higgins is banged up they obviously don't have joe bird they have a backup quarterback yes that backup quarterback was able to make some noise but the, he's a backup quarterback for a reason because he can't consistently make some noise okay so, no, what are we talking about here? You beat the Cincinnati Bengals, who are not even a playoff team, who have a backup quarterback and a terrible defense, and they beat them, and that's showing the heart of a champion? Oh, my Lord. That is nonsense. That is nonsense to the nth degree. I'm just like, I can't believe Brew is even, is, is even entertaining this. Seriously. I mean, this is just so absurd and ridiculous that I just like I, I don't even know how else to put it because also again the Bengals the Bengals also made a terrible mistake where they went for it on the fourth down when they should have just taken the field goal they because they their defense was actually kind of stopping the the Chiefs and instead they didn't take the points they gave it up on fourth down and it was a turnover and then the Chiefs were able to go make moves that is because the Bengals had nothing to lose technically. You know, they're they're just trying to, you know, do whatever they can to stay alive. And they recognize, you know, that it's kind of house money where if they lose and they don't make the playoffs in the long term, it's actually probably better for them. You know, it's just like no one's getting fired. Joe Burrow got hurt. You know, it, it just is what it is, right? So they're just kind of like, sure, you know, why not? Let's just do it. Let's go for it. But the Bengals weren't good. They had the turnover. They couldn't even, you know, score a touchdown that drive. Again, if this was Joe Burrow or if this was just a better quarterback or just a better team, then they would have won. So this is just such nonsense. This was the, the Bengals actually had a chance to win that game with a backup quarterback and a terrible defense. Think about that. They had a chance to beat the Chiefs with a terrible defense and a backup quarterback. 
the Bengals, I get it that Jake Browning was a quarterback. But like I said, they've beaten some good teams with Browning. And that was almost like a playoff atmosphere it, because the, they hate <clears throat> each other so much. We saw the skirmishes. The Bengals were like really wanted that game, needed that game. And when it came down to it, they scored the last 18 points. And they got, what, five sacks in like the yes. last six minutes. Yes. It, it reminded me, and you guys are too young probably to remember this. Oh, here we go. Of a one of Muhammad Ali's late victories, like Muhammad Ali now. Shavers or Ron Lyle, when oh he wasn't God. the same fighter, didn't have the speed, didn't have the talent that he used to have, but his will and his smarts, he we o- they overwhelmed Browning, a backup quarterback who this is his first time playing and is obviously overwhelmed and is just like trying to stay alive. That's who they overwhelmed, and apparently that's the Chiefs being Muhammad Ali. I'm speechless. He just found or, a way to win, and that's what the Chiefs did, and they're going to be a tough out. What about the final Patriots out. Super Bowl, Wilds? That was won 13-3. That was with a great quarterback and a great aging tight end oh, yeah. and yeah. a great coach. What a, We don't have to – and so can I, can I make, before we move on, there's no. just a, a few – Point uh, receiver points on you make. First of all, do you guys? I know they're a different network. Do you guys like CBS the way they broadcast the games? Correct. I like it. You trust like their NFL coverage. Think there's smart, good people over there. Of course. What C- What CBS tweet this weekend? Oh my God! Oh, it's catching on. Well, Did you see him? Their Did Twitter feed him? is actually the, excellent. The, I know it is. That that's not really my that, That's from excellent. CBS, who you guys love. Nice now play, the other man. wide receiver point before we get to Jamar. The, this this MBS sequence, if we can show it quickly, Hubs. Listen, this is either going to be why the Chiefs win or lose the Super Bowl. The f- so if they lose and or don't get there, it will be because this keeps happening. If what, they, what are you referring to right now? Now the, you've the, got the, on the podcast. You no, think that's a drop or that's a ball that's thrown that's a drop. three uh, no. feet behind where oh, it's supposed to be? Okay, that's fine. Blame it on Mahomes. But it doesn't even drop. fit with what you believe, that. but that's fine. It does. That, it, it's, that's it's, a drop. it's a drop by every definition. It's not a perfectly thrown ball, but it's a drop. But that's not what I'm talking about. Six plays later, after I had tweeted, I would bench MBS for looking back at Mahomes sideways about it. What does Mahomes do? Now he drops. That's not a drop, but they, that was a perfect pass. That hit was, him in the he hands. should catch that. I mean, that's keep running. So his stride, my point is the fact that they that, that he will not. That's a stop tough catch. What are you guys, guys talking about? I, I, maybe it's bad. I think it's good. And then lastly is Jamar Chase, which we just need to bring out the bulletin board because Jamar Chase oh, wow. befooled himself. And here's the deal, guys. We now have for the first time all year, we have bulletin board eliminations. Oh yikes! Orlando Brown. Who gave up those sacks at the end of the game? Orlando, you were a great chief. You also said you liked blocking for the Bengals more than the Chiefs. Your season's <laughs> over. Oh, yeah. You have been eliminated. Wow. Jamar wow. Chase, wow. who had stuff to say all year long, and then for the second time in 2023, two times in one calendar year, your season ended in Arrowhead Stadium. Guess what, buddy? You have been eliminated. And sadly, last but not least, the Chiefs also eliminated the Broncos this week. And you know what that means. Greg Jennings, you have been eliminated. <laughs> the bulletin wow, board is, you? by the way, a lot of Eagles on there. The bulletin board's coming for them. But three of them have been smited by the power of the bulletin board, <laughs> Wilds. Uh, oh, we're oh, back. No. Professor yeah, Broussard. Gets so, there. I mean, I just don't even know. I mean, that whole thing is just so absurd, honestly. Um... I, I get why they do this take. It's fun. It's interesting. Um, it causes, you know, everyone to be like, no, Nick, you're wrong, right? You know, hater loved, you know, but never ignored. But this is just not good breakdown or analysis. Um, the Chiefs, again, let me say it again. The Chiefs obviously have a chance because you do have Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid and stuff like that. Yes, that is true. But the Chiefs do not have a good offense this year. They just do not, okay? Now, Nick is bashing like the Eagles, and yet the Eagles beat them. And understandably so, because the Eagles haven't played well, and yet the Eagles beat them. The Broncos, with a benched quarterback, beat the Chiefs. The Raiders, with a backup quarterback and a brand-new coach, beat them. 
they almost lost to the Bengals with a backup quarterback. I mean, like, they literally almost lost back-to-back weeks with a backup quarterback. Back-to-back weeks on the sideline, they have players yelling at each other on the sideline. This is not a good team. This is a team that has serious issues that are continuing to fester. And in the playoffs, you can't get away with it. In the playoffs, you don't get away with that fumble turnover by um, Mahomes. You don't get you don't get away with all those missed passes and the drop passes. You don't get away with that in the playoffs. You lose. The Eagles in the Super Bowl against the Chiefs, Jalen Hurts lost that fumble. Boom, lost the game. Okay, that just is what it is. Uh, when the 49er, when the when the Bills played the Chiefs. You know, with like however many seconds left, um, what happened? The Chiefs caught the ball. This version of the Chiefs would have dropped the ball. You can't. You don't get away with it in the playoffs because you're playing good teams, and the margin gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and the margin of error gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So come time playoffs, when you're playing an actual good team that can put everything together, you're going to lose all of a sudden he has them beating the ravens like they're just like nothing because he's already talking about going to the super bowl and and playing the 49ers you're just gonna magically beat the ravens please let me know you're just gonna magically beat the bills Uh, let's see it i mean yeah can you beat the jaguars of course can you beat beat the dolphins yeah of course and of course the dolphins just got you know dealt a really terrible situation with their injuries whether it be tua or chubb and which is you know just a bummer um but so again they're going to be gifted some good opportunities in the playoffs but no way and also come time the super bowl if they do make it to the super bowl and it's the 49ers i got the 49ers honestly i mean heck if the cowboys were more trustworthy i'd have the cowboys um so and if detroit was more trustworthy i'd have that you know like that's really what you're banking on for the 40 for the chiefs is playing teams that are just not trustworthy in that regard in those moments. The 49ers, I think, would. Um, but I just think this whole like unconditional love and support for the Chiefs and then seeing the heart of a champion and greatness where it does not exist right now, currently, in 2024, nonsense. Absolute nonsense. But what do you think? Is Nick right? And first things first as a whole, just being biased right now, like for the for the Chiefs, like are they just delusional? What do you think? Do you think what I'm saying is ridiculous? Let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on this one because this is just, honestly, I'm just, I'm blown away, truly. But I would love to hear your thoughts. Please do not forget to subscribe. We are building an amazing community here. And it's really, really awesome so far. And I truly think we can build something special. And I would absolutely love to see you part of it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm and really helps with the visibility. Thank you so much and see you next time.